there are two things that I would change. The first is something I'm not proud of, but it's what happens. And that is, uh, if you and I were talking, and I'm running Time Warner, I have a zone of interest. If you go outside that zone of interest, I have to shut down because I have to move on because there are 30 things that need to be done. And if it didn't relate to publishing or movies or television or sports or cable, and, and I didn't look at you to say, I mean, I've known you most of my adult life, but to get inside and, and instead of starting right into a business conversation, ask about the kids, how's Jane doing? You know, what's really going on for you today, Michael? I mean, if that, that's what I missed and I would change that. The other thing that I would change is what was going on internally because I, I made sure that my identity didn't get wrapped up by the highs and lows of the substantial impact and the, all the uh, vestibules of power. But I wasn't paying enough time and attention in those private moments with, am I congruent with my core purpose? I wasn't asking that question every morning and every evening, which I now do. And I now do it jointly. And then I now meditate. And I now confront and embrace the big questions and answers of life. On the next Conversations. I mean, we can do just about anything now. It's just amazing. Bruckheimer, Levin, Huffington. Conversations with Michael Eisner. Wednesday, 9 Eastern on CNBC.